In the previous video, we saw that an action in Acrobat 11 Professional can automate repetitive processes, and it provides a reliable way to ensure that we perform a complex series of tasks in the proper order without any omissions. In this video, we're going to create our own custom action. I'm working with the file birdsofwestcentralflorida.pdf, which is located in the working files in the Chapter 3 folder. This is a presentation that was converted from a PowerPoint file, and we may have a number of these that we create. So it would be nice to automate some of the maintenance work that we have to do on every single file. For this presentation, we're going to set it up so that we can add some content to each presentation we process, a header and a footer. We'll also give the opportunity for the user to add multimedia files into the presentation as part of the action. We'll add a consistent set of slide transitions and we'll set this document to run in full screen when it's launched. Since we have to do these same steps on every presentation we publish, it makes sense to create an action to help us out. With the Tools panel open to the Action Wizard category, we'll click on Create New Action. At the top, we'll make sure to set this to Add Files, which uses the currently open file as a default. But notice that we do have other options here, not all of which use the current file. We'll set this back to Add Files and move on. Now we're ready to add the steps to our action. In order to do that, we'll choose Tasks from the left side of this list and click on the Center button to move them into our action. But before we start, notice that we can double-click here on the word Untitled and change the name of this section. We'll call it Prepare Content. We'll click on Save and we can see that the panel is updated with that text. Now we'll start in the Pages category on the left and we'll select Add Header and Footer and click this button to add it into the right-hand panel. We could specify the settings here and now ourselves, but instead we'll choose Prompt User. This will allow the user to customize the header and footer while the action is running. The next thing we want to do is allow the user to add extra content. In this particular case, we'll consider adding a video clip into the presentation. Now there isn't an Add Video command available, so we'll have to guide the user through. Now the way Acrobat is set up to work is that we would click the Add Instruction box right here. We can add text explaining to the user what to do next. We click on Save, and then we would enable Pause, which would allow the user to see this message, read it, and then click to proceed. However, and this is a key point, Acrobat 11 has an issue, and this process doesn't work correctly. If we use pause right here, this will cause our action to get stuck. So don't choose pause. Deselect it, and here's what we'll do as a workaround. In the left-hand panel, we'll open the More Tools section and choose Execute JavaScript. We'll add this into the right-hand panel, and we'll click on Specify Settings. We'll type in app.alert which is a JavaScript command that will pop up a window for the user to click OK. In between the quotes here, we'll add the same text as before. Now we'll click on OK, and then we'll deselect Prompt User here. If we left this selected, it would bring up the JavaScript editor, which is not what we want at all. Now that we've informed the user, we can choose the Go To category, and we'll choose Go To Interactive Objects and we'll add this to our action. This step will pause the action automatically and allow the user to access the Tools panel in the Interactive Objects category. Once the user is finished, they can click to proceed with the action. We'll see how this works in just a moment. Next, let's add another panel. This is just an organizational or housekeeping step. We'll call this Format Document. We'll click on Save, and we can see a new section is added to our action. Now we'll add the next step. In the Document Processing category, we'll click on Page Transitions, and then we'll add this to our action. We'll go ahead and click on Specify Settings, and we can choose a transition type of Fade with a speed of Medium. We'll click on OK, and then we'll deselect Prompt User. We want this to be a fully automated step. 
While we're in the Document Processing section, we'll choose Set Open Options and we'll add this as well. Here we'll specify settings once again and we'll change the window options so that Open in full screen mode is set to Yes and we'll click on OK. Now our action is complete and we can click Save to add it to the list in the Tools panel. We'll call this Presentation Formatting. And then we'll add a description. Once we're done and we click Save, we can see it here in the Tools panel within the Action Wizard category, and hovering over it shows the tooltip with the description we just entered. Now let's try this out on our presentation. We'll click here to begin, and then we see our action. Notice the steps, including the panels, just as we designed them. Now we can click on Start to launch the action. The first step is to add a header and footer and we'll make a simple update just for this demonstration. We'll click in the left header text, and we'll insert the page number. We'll change the font to white so that it shows up on our dark background. We'll click on OK, and now we get our JavaScript alert with the text that we added. Notice the informational panel is here at the right, but remember that we disabled pause for that panel because of the bug in Acrobat 11. We'll read this informational text, and then when we're ready, we'll click OK, and Acrobat takes us to the Interactive Objects panel, and we see here a floating box that tells us to click to proceed when we're done. At this point, we can go about adding the video as we intended. We'll click here, and the cursor changes to a crosshair. We can drag a rectangle where we want the video to appear, and when we release the mouse button, we get the Insert Video dialog. We'll browse for the file, and we'll navigate to the working files in the Chapter 3 folder. We'll open egret.mp4 and click on Open. Here we can show the advanced options and make changes here as well. If you'd like to learn more about these options and what they do, please watch the Infinite Skills course on Acrobat 11 Essentials, where we covered this in detail. We'll click on OK, and the video is added to the presentation. We're done adding the video, so we can click here to proceed, and the action resumes. The page transitions are set automatically, and the open options are set as well, presented for us to verify. We click on OK, and the action is complete. Again, we can click here to get the full report, which will open in the browser. We can click Close here in the Action panel, and we're taken back to the standard Tools panel. Now at this point, our document is modified, but we've not saved it. We can choose File, Save As, and we'll place it on the desktop. Now let's check our work. We'll close the file, and then we'll click Open, and browse to the desktop, and choose Birds of West Central Florida. Right away, we get the warning that the document is going to launch in full screen mode, and we can click on Yes. Here's the document, and we can see the page number at the top. We can test to make sure that the video works, and it does. And when we page through the document, we can see that the transitions are set to fade, just as we specified. Press Escape to get back to the main Acrobat interface, and we've now successfully created our own custom action with just the steps we need to automate our own unique workflow. In the next video, we'll look at ways to share our actions with others.